Hello and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Dr. Jart Dermask Ultra Jet Porectin Solution Mask. Got that right. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> that's the mask that I'm going to be reviewing today. Um, I am Miss T Lindo, if you haven't been here before. So this um, episode is basically part of my face mask series where I purchased like over six different face masks, like um, drug brand face masks that I want to basically just try out and see if it does what it basically claims to do. Um, I'm quite big on medical skincare products. Um, I'm someone that's basically, I've practiced facial and skincare. Um, I'm also a student nurse as well. And I do like to spend quite a lot of time into looking into products, what's best on the market, what are the best formulations at the moment. So yeah, drugstore products aren't something that I would often lean into. But I'm hoping that this can basically help someone. You know. I'm hoping that this episode becomes useful if you're someone like me or just any general member of the public that wants to, you know, try skincare brands and see what is the most effective for what you're actually paying. Um, so from some of the face masks that I've tried, some have actually been really good and I've actually been quite surprised by that. So if you're looking for like a quick fix or you know you have an event coming up maybe like a birthday or something like that you just want a super quick fix for a super good price then do check out some of my videos that i've been posting and i hope you enjoy this one as well where i review this mask and talk about this mask in more detail so this is the dr jar porectin ultra jet mask i've probably said that in the wrong order again but this mask is basically, um, it has charcoal extract in it and the point of the mask is basically to reduce pores. So before I get into this, pores are completely normal. You shouldn't feel abnormal for having pores, for having visible pores. We all have pores. The point of pores is to basically help to basically help you to monitor temperature in your skin as well as release oils onto your skin which can be useful for keeping your skin to look young and fresh the problem comes in when too much oil is being released onto your skin which can then cause skin irritation and acne so i mean if you do have large visible pores and that's something that really bothers you then this mask may have caught your eye so i bought this mask i bought it for around six pounds i did order it from look fantastic as that's you know quite a good website for different skincare products and i tried the mask out for the first time last week so only one mask is supposed to come within the packet but i actually got two which i don't know is a manufacturing error or something but i was quite happy about that as you can imagine so like a lot of the other Dr. Jar masks, it comes in like a paper packet with a silver foil interior. The mask comes folded up as a sheet. You take the mask out, you basically have to, you know, spread it out and work out for yourself what goes where. Once you've done that, you basically apply the mask to your skin as you, you know, you would. And then you leave that on for around 15 to 25 minutes. When I used the mask, I did leave it on for, I think, 20 minutes. Because there was a point I just wanted it off of my face. So overall, I had a good experience with the mask. I didn't have any problems except for the usual that comes up with face sheet face masks where their proportions may not fit my proportions properly. So one of the problems that I did have with this mask was that the corner of the eye kept sort of like going into my eye and that was really like irritating. But what I would do is I would just try and spread it out so that the proportions are adjusted um, quite well. So yeah, so I used that 
and then what happens is the mask literally starts foaming up on your face so it's really different really interesting it's almost like bubble bath so i put the mask on it says to basically massage the mask into your skin to help stimulate more foam production so i did do that towards the end my face was literally just like a foam cloud and for someone that's really into skincare it's quite you know interesting and fun it makes skincare quite fun and that was something that i quite you know enjoyed about it because it's like whoa like i've never seen this before kind of thing so that was like i guess a good point of it um a good point as well was it wasn't too irritating when the mask was on i didn't feel any itching any like burning or anything like that if you do feel any irritation or burning do take the mask off immediately and rinse just a disclaimer but for me luckily everything was fine i didn't have any issues with that um the downside again like i mentioned was like the proportions not being so good um another problem i find with face masks is that when they come folded up like that I do find it really difficult to understand which side is supposed to go on my face because once you've unfolded it, do you know what I mean? It's a bit like which bit is supposed to be on direct contact with my skin. I think I worked it out. Maybe it can go any way, but it would be good to know that beforehand. Anyway, so around the 20 minute mark, I took the mask off. Um, when I take the mask off, I always start from the chin and bring it upwards. When I took the mask off, there was no tearing or anything like that. So it's quite easy to dispose of. The only thing is it's quite saturated in products, which can be a good thing. So do expect a lot of like wet, sticky hands and maybe around this area from where it drips once that's done. Once the mask was off, my skin looked really fresh, really nice. I don't think I have large pores anyway, so I would like to perhaps hear experiences of people that have tried it that do have large pores, but upon, you know, finishing using the mask, my skin just looked really fresh, really radiant, like cleansed quite well, and I didn't see any pores whatsoever. It was like... It was, it was really nice, really good, really effective for the price that it's been marketed at. Um, from these reviews that I've been doing, I have quite, quite come to realise that I do like Dr. Jart products. Um, I'm hoping to try some other products from their line as I've only tried their face masks. But from the face masks that I have been trying, you know, Korean brand, I've heard a lot about Korean skincare and their masks are worth it i do feel like it is worth it you know if i'm going out and i want a quick boost i would use their mask if i'm coming in and i need that extra cleanse before bed or something i wouldn't hesitate to use their mask i mean i think it's quite good value for the money in regard to ingredients there were quite a few ingredients on the list um, what I have come to realise with mainly like drugstore products as well and with this product is that the products mentioned, they're in very, very minuscule amounts. So if you're buying a drugstore, you know, face mask or something and it, it says, you know, witch hazel, don't be too excited about that because it will only be a tiny amount that they will be using. So it's not going to have a dramatic effect um on your skin um and yeah i think that's it really so i'll be posting all the clips and stuff in this video as i didn't really you know film at the time like i usually do but yeah this is just a super quick review of the dr jart pore rectin solution mask i hope you do you have found this useful um you can follow me on my socials and subscribe if you like this video and i'll see you again soon